the fun one that is used a lot are these little motion sensors. I like this kind because they're small. And uh, you can buy little tiny project boxes that are like this big and just stuff them in there, make them hidden. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can either desolder these and run a wire to wherever you're going, or in this case we're probably going to do it identical to this one. And it's going to be the exact same way because uh, everything's already resistored on here in a very, very nice clean way. Something I like to do is these things come off really easy, so I like to hot glue these in place because of course I love hot glue, but um, let's go ahead and begin. So how I'm going to do this one is I went ahead and bent it down like so, and I'm pretty much planning on probably going to be using it this way, just for this video. So in order for this example to work, since this is going to be on test board, I plan on eventually making this a 12 volt side, since this is a 5 volt switch, I mean, since technically a switch, but it's a, it's a PIR sensor, we're going to have to run the power of the hot from that side. So cut a little bit longer of a red one than usual. And again, if you look on here, you'll see that they're hot and there's nothing in the negative or common. There's the hot one. And I'm just making these wires so long just for uh, just this purpose this video but usually I like to make the wires all tight and fit good but all right so I got this let's go ahead and solder this one on And as usual, we're going to light this up, push it in, and same thing with this one down here. That one, that one on that side needs a little more solder though, because you want a nice little TP looking shape. So we got this hot side done now. There it is right here. Now like negative we can put over here, but we might as well go ahead and share with the theme and run it backwards. There's that negative. or common, whatever you want to call it. We get a nice TP shape. So we can go ahead and trim. All right, so now what we have left to do is figure out which pin we're gonna use. And now you see we've already used D1, D2, D5, so we're gonna go ahead and use D6. first all 
All right, so we got that one in. Then we're gonna feed it right there. Well, that was barely long enough. That's what I get for using scraps. And that is it. Now on Tasmoda, you would just program it as a switch, and that's exactly all you would really need to do. Hope you enjoyed.